Welcome to the course on the importance of static testing in achieving a high ROI. All content and information presented in the course is the exclusive property of QA Mentor. The content and information contained here is correct at the time of publishing. No material from this course may be copied, modified, reproduced, republished, uploaded, transmitted, posted or distributed in any form without prior written permission from QA Mentor. Unauthorized use of the content and information appearing here may violate copyright, trademark, and other applicable laws and could result in legal actions. Audio Check This course contains audio that is essential to interacting with the course content. Please click the audio button to test your computer audio settings. After completing this course, you will be able to understand the crucial role of accurate and complete requirement specifications, explain static testing, understand the role of static testing in every phase of the software development lifecycle, use checklists to find gaps and errors in static testing documents, calculate the ROI of static testing, and finally, you will be able to examine case studies and identify phases in the software development lifecycle where static testing could have been used to eliminate problems. Let's begin with the first lesson. Complete requirement specifications are critical. Suppose you are a building contractor tasked with building a house. Your first order of business would be to ask the question, what does the client require? Your client's answer could be four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a sunroom, got to have hardwood floors, etc. Now how do you translate these client requirements into detailed functional requirements for your development team, the building crew? They need to know exactly how to go about implementing these requirements. What other specifications does your development team need in order to implement this project? Wouldn't they need to know the exact layout of the house? How about the number of levels? The size of the bedrooms? The height of the ceilings? The type of foundation you need? What about the flooring? Do you want real hardwood floors? Or would a laminate be okay? If these requirement specifications were missing in the business requirements document, the client might end up with a product, in this case a house, that doesn't quite match their requirements. Missing or incomplete requirements can have disastrous consequences. They can cause the IT project to exceed time estimates, overrun the budget, and fail to meet user requirements. Missing or incomplete requirements are the most common cause of software errors. It's important to understand that many errors are made in the early stages. Most are due to missing or incomplete requirements. These errors are usually discovered at later stages when repairing them is expensive. Most errors can be prevented by testing early. Costs increase astronomically the further you are into the system's development lifecycle. Rework costs are responsible for a large chunk of software development costs. Good practices involve finding and fixing 70 to 90 percent of defects before the test phase of the system's development life cycle. Let's look at a case study to really find out how devastating the consequences of missing or incomplete requirements can be. Sandra Lim, the newly appointed West Coast Regional Manager of Taco Taco, wants to prove herself. Taco Taco has been having problems with wastage of produce due to badly timed delivery scheduling. She decides to set up an order tracking database to keep track of time-sensitive produce deliveries and vendor status. Having taken some information technology courses in college, she feels she has the know-how to go ahead with setting up the database herself.